Welcome back everybody. And today we have a very important, some of you may know this tip, but a lot of you may not. And that's why we're making this video. And leave it in the comments down below if this helped you. But as you can see in the title, this video is going to be surrounding the recirculation button in most cars and when and how to use it. So the short answer here is use it in the summer, turn it off in the winter. Now in the summer, what it does is it essentially recirculates the air inside your vehicle, as most of you would have guessed. Now there are places and times when you can use this that will really help the wear and tear on your AC and help the pollutants coming into your vehicle. So I'll give you an example. Firstly, when you want to use this is when you're stuck in traffic. So when you're stuck in traffic and you're, it's in the summertime and you're using your AC, the recirculation button will recirculate that cool air inside the vehicle. But the most important thing is you will not be sucking in the pollutants from the traffic that you're stuck in. So it, studies can show this, that it reduces up to 20% of the pollutants coming into your vehicle if you do use the recirculation button in your car when you're stuck in traffic. Now on those hot summer days, when you first get into your car, do not turn it on. Wait a minute or two, open your windows, let all that hot air out, and then use the recirculation button. And what this does is it highly reduces the wear and tear on your AC system because the hot air doesn't have to be sucked in and cooled. It's rather just recirculating the cool air that's already inside. So it's it's reducing the wear and tear on that AC system. So it's good for longevity. So to summarize the recirculation button, when you want to use it in the summertime, hot days, when you're stuck in traffic, even just hot days in general, you want to recirculate that cool air that's inside rather than using your AC to suck the hot air in and cool it. Much more efficient, decreases the wear and tear on your AC. Like I mentioned, when you're stuck in traffic, you want to reduce the pollutants that are coming into your vehicle. So this is when recirculation is huge when you're stuck in traffic and it's a hot day. That way you're not pulling those pollutants in from the traffic and you're pulling that into your cabin. So that'll wrap up the video. Let me know down in the comments if this video helped you it is maybe a common thing maybe a lot of you know maybe some of you don't but let me know let us know in the comments down below if it helped you out drop that uh, like button hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and it helped you out subscribe if you are new tons of new content on the way you won't regret it and it's free so makes it even better but that'll be it for today's video guys we will see you all in the next one